How are we doing? First of all, thank you very much for clicking on my channel. Kelly Legends Media, really appreciate you. Thank you to all my subscribers. And I also like to ask if you're not a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button and the like button, notification bell. That will really help, help me in my endeavor here to uh, make this YouTube channel become something. It's a new channel. It's only been a, a, a month and a half, I would say. And um, we seem to be doing pretty good. So this video here is, goes, it goes back quite a while. This was back in 2000. This was before they let everybody out of the back. I'm sure things would go a lot different now under the new circumstances. But these were the circumstances back in 2000. Yeah, I just uh, I just rolled up to a new building with my Sally bouncer from Eastside Bowling. And we get it to our cell and we're unloading our, our cart of belongings into the cell. Okay. We haven't even got our stuff out of the out of the out of the cart yet, you know? And uh this guy actually he, he didn't just come up to the cell, he actually walked into the cell. And uh, he addressed my Sally. Um, excuse me. Hey, do you know uh, your homeboy Steve Camacho from Mariana? Anyways, long story short, this guy, I guess, heard of me from the streets or something. And uh, was pretending like he knew me. I turned around and I, and I told him, yeah, I know him. I told him, yeah, that's me. Why, what's up? He says, uh, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, hey, how you doing? Hey, I know, I know your homeboy this, I know your homeboy that. And, I... and then I remember where this guy was coming from, right? First of all, not only did I feel disrespected, I felt a little bit of a, kind of like a danger, kind of like a suspicion of this guy that he would come up and, and do something like that, like ask for me by name, say that he knows me, and it's me that he's talking to. A lot of times guys do that when they want to find out about somebody. They'll say, oh, hey, man, how are your homeboy uh, Blackbird doing? You know, you know, what's he up to these days? Trying to find out where they're at or what they're up to for whatever reason, right? So I took it that this guy was was had bad intentions, you know? So first of all, I didn't like that he walked in the cell the way he did. I didn't know if he had something on him, especially the way he he, he presented himself and everything. So I told him, hey, look, after I uh, get settled in here, I'll go talk to you. So he left, and I started explaining to my Sally who this guy was and and what his agenda was, you know, what his problem was. Considering the fact that he came at me the way he did, I decided upon, I took it upon myself that I was going to go get me something to deal with him and ask him to come in the cell and get whatever he's got off his chest so we could take care of it right there. I wasn't going to be comfortable with him being in the same yard with him. So my Sally, he gave me some good advice. He told me, hey, you got to go get at the, at the Blaquero. So he could let the Yavero know, and you got to make sure that it's all right for you to do this. But I felt, hey, the guy came into my house, into my cell, with his little uh, trickery and, and, and double talk, and I was just going to take it upon myself to deal with this guy, which probably would have had bad consequences for me later on when I got to the back, you know. Nevertheless, I, I, was, I, was, I was upset that this guy... He could should have just came at me straight up, you know, and and I would have respected that. But being that he was being like a snake about it, on the next unlock I took off. I didn't even unpack my stuff. I just threw my stuff under the under the bunk. I figured yeah, I'm probably gonna go to the hole anyways. Why unpack? I threw my stuff under the bunk. I told myself, yeah, I appreciate it on the next unlock if you could, you know, leave me the cell. He goes, all right, but. I think you should talk to dude, you know, before you do anything. I said, all right, uh, uh, thank you for the advice. I appreciate it. 
So I took off. I went to another block where uh, one of my homies was at. He was a lifer. He had been there for a while. And I figure if anybody knew where something was, he would. So I went and I talked to him and he got me something to take back with me. But when I got back, my Sally was sitting where the TV is, but underneath the TV with, the, with his back against the wall and he was talking to an older homie that was there in the, in the block with me. His name, his name was uh, Chino. I'm not going to say what water he's from or nothing. It was an older homie, respect, really respected guy there in the yard. And this other joker, the one that came into my cell, was standing a few feet away with his, with his foot on the bench, look, you know, kind of resting on his knee, looking at the TV when I walked in. So I went over and, and I stood next to him and I told him how I felt. I tell him, look, you know, I know, I know who you are and I, I have a feeling I know what's on your chest. I don't appreciate that you, that you get, got at me sideways. You should have came and confronted me like a man. But I let him know, look, I got my thing. Go get your thing. And let's go into my house. I got the cell already ready to go. And, and I'm going to let you get this stuff off your chest. So you don't have to be looking for me or asking for me or pretending you know me or, or, or anything like that. And this guy, he changed his whole tune. You know, he was like, Oh, no, homie, it's not like that. No, it's all good, you know. Yeah, you know, I, uh, your homeboy's my relative, and, and your other homeboy's my relative, and this, and they came out with some off-the-wall stuff, you know. And I told him, look, man, you got something, Just let's just get it, let's just get, let's just take care of it, man. They're going to do unlock right now. When they come around the second time, we'll go up, we'll go up in my house. No, that's not called for. And hey, I apologize. He he didn't put his hand out. He reached down and, and took my hand from my side and started shaking it. And hey, I, I apologize. And he tried to come in a little bit for a hug. And I like stood him back, you know, kept him at an arm's distance, you know, and I held his hand and I, I go, I go, man, I I don't know, you know, who you've been with or 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 I don't know where you picked this style up from, man, but you're, you're, you're something else. But stay away from me the rest of the time that you're here. Don't come around me. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to hear from you. I don't care who you know. Nothing. Just stay away from me. And he's like, oh, okay, okay, man. Sorry. He walked away. Sorry. You know, Spence, and he, he took off, right? So instead of going in the house, uh, I had to go take this thing back now, you know, which which was a waste because I could have got it taken away if I would have got stopped and checked or something. And, and I could have got it taken, you know. And it would have been all bad because it didn't even use it. Well, anyways, long story short, I, I would say it was probably about a month and a half later. I'm out in the yard and an alarm goes off. And it's this, it's this joker being removed, right? Now I can't say I can't say what the reason why he was removed. I don't know for sure. But I could tell you this. This guy claimed to 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 be somebody, something. Not not he wasn't claiming to be a you know one of the main heads, but you know, he had certain tattoos and stuff where, hey, if somebody comes and challenges you, you got to take that challenge. You know what I mean? There, there's no room for cowardness. You know, you don't, you don't, you don't go and start something and, and poke at somebody. And then when they bite back, uh, pee on yourself, you know? And if I got more into this story, more into de details, then you probably understand why what happened happened, but that's not what's important. What's important here is that this guy was trying to be somebody and, and claimed to be somebody with the stuff he had on, on his body. And, uh, you know, he, he, he showed cowardness, you know, by not, by not taking me up. 
So I think already, whatever the reason why he got got out there in the yard, I think part of that decision was probably his behavior, you know, when he was confronted. You got to be very careful who you're portraying yourself as. If you're going to be, if you want to be one of them guys, uh, you better have the heart for it and the metal for it. Because people are watching, people are listening all the time. And the minute you trip up, it's gonna be it's gonna be made known. And uh there could be negative results that that change your life, you know. Also, speaking for myself. Doing something like what I did took a little bit. Okay, some people will say, oh, that, that that's having heart. Well, it has a lot of, of to do with some foolishness too because I had a date. I, you know, I was short already. I went in short. I only had six years. And uh, I could have picked up a murder charge because when you go in a cell with somebody and you take tools with you, somebody usually ends up dead and if not pretty bad because you're you're in a cell and, and things are going to go down bad and uh so i risked everything you know my 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 freedom that i had coming and my family getting back to my family and stuff so you have to think about what you do I, I did that with this guy not being drunk, not being high, not being nothing. We had just got there. I think we had just came out of uh, receiving. And you're there for like a month in that little cell with nothing until you, you're able to hit a yard and, and, and touch down and, you know, make it to the store and get your little things, you know. So I had a clear mind, but it was the anger and the... And just the way he acted and approached me, it, it was, it was, it was, yeah, this guy, he, he put in a front that, that he wasn't able to, to sustain, you know, you have to be careful, especially what tattoos you put, because you're expected to behave and carry yourself and act a certain way. And there's certain things that are completely unacceptable and cowardness is is the main one i would say you know you, there's no room for signs of cowardness you want nobody around like that all those cells they want filled with people that are going to be able to handle business when the time comes and if not you're just taking up space you're just taking up room as far as uh, as far as the people who live in prison are concerned anyways i'm going to end this video this video isn't to boast or to brag about anything, and it's not to condone my behavior or my actions. What what it what it what this video I hope does is make people think about what they do and say before they do it and say it, and before you approach people. You know, everybody should be treated with the utmost respect in prison, in jail, and out here. And if you do that, in most cases, you won't have a problem. Unless you get some knucklehead who's trying to pretend to be somebody and act a certain way and uh, and get himself caught in the ringer. Anyways, please take care of your freedom. Like I say, you could lose it in, in just a couple of minutes of anger. You lose your head, take someone's life. Create great bodily injury, whatever the case is, even an assault. Lose your job, lose your everything, you know. And let's uh, let's take care of this precious gift that we have called freedom. And let's all be good men and good examples to our kids, to our nephews, to the young men in our neighborhood. And uh, I'm going to leave you with that. Thank you very much. If you follow me to the end, hit that subscribe button. 
doesn't cost a dime. It's that big button that says subscribe. You just push it, and that's it. You're in the car. You're in the in the <laughs> you're in the Cali Legends Media car. All right, counting on you. Thank you very much. Hope to see you on the next video. Thank you very much.